Hello and welcome back to Coffee Break Archaeology. I've got my coffee. Do you have yours? Mm. Just what I need. Now, just a quick apology if I sound a bit um, weird. Uh, yesterday I had my second COVID uh, jab, so I'm feeling a bit under weather still from that. Um, and that just brings me on, you know, if you can get vaccinated, please do. Um, let's continue to get through this together and uh, move on to better times. Now, that being said, we are back this week with another hashtag, where am I? Hashtag, where am I? Week two. Now, I think maybe I made week one maybe a bit too easy. Um, most, I think a lot of people got that reasonably quickly and didn't really need the clues for the other week. Uh, that being said, I don't think this week is uh, particularly tricky either. Um, but, you know, we'll slowly maybe ramp up the difficulty or do slightly more obscure things uh, throughout uh, the following weeks. Now, if you've not seen the answer to week one, you can go and check out that on Instagram uh, with a little bit of history. Uh, but I will, will reveal it here as well. Uh, in week one, we were at Porchester. Now, Porchester is a site that I've enjoyed visiting very much and to my shame have not done it uh, for a very long time. Um, that being said, that kind of brings me on to another point that I would like to make in this episode is uh, the wonderful advantage of the modern age and things like uh, Google Arts, Google Arts and Culture. Uh, which I use a lot for inspiration for things like hashtag where am I and other bits for the blog. Um, you know, it's a great resource. There are many great resources out there. Uh, I use many. Um, but, you know, part of hashtag where am I was always about, you know, how can we also uh, visit sites virtually, especially during uh, the age of COVID, which unfortunately we are still in. Um so Google Arts and Culture is great. Uh, here is the page for Porchester. Um, it's got a variety of things that you can look at regarding Porchester, including uh, some of the items or artifacts associated with Porchester. Uh, even uh, lays these out in a lovely timeline for you. And uh, Google's Arts and Culture always also sometimes used for sort of uh, temporary exhibitions or temporary story bits and pieces. Uh, there is also a history of Porchester. Uh, here we go. Ooh, scrolled wrong way. Uh, so this is a history from its original uh, origins as a Roman fort all the way through to a prisoner of war depot that was used uh, sort of through the 18th and 19th centuries. Um, and again, you know, just a very nice little slideshow on the brief on a brief history of Porchester, including some of the finds uh, from various excavations, such as ones by uh, Sir Barry Cunliffe, um, and other finds, of course, and even with some sort of three D views of some of the runs, uh, which is you know another one of the really uh, great things with uh, Google Arts and Culture. They often do have sort of uh, 3D virtual tours. In fact, if we go back to the main page, you can actually explore a little bit within the grounds of Porchester as well. You know, this is very nice, especially for those who are unable to visit there for whatever reason. Um, You know, e even when uh, we're not with COVID, those who can't visit there due to being geographically inconvenienced or those who suffer from uh, mobility issues as well um, and find it difficult to travel. Things like Google's Arts and Culture are really, really useful to stay connected uh, with the world of heritage, um, world of arts and culture. And I just like to point out, you know, this is not a sponsored video. I just love using arts and culture and uh, you know, it is a good resource if you do want to explore. Uh, that being said, let's move back on to the hashtag where am I with the first clue for week two. 
Now, just as a little bit of a reminder about how this new format works, uh, hashtag where am I or hashtag where are we? Should it be hashtag where am I or hashtag where are we? Let me know what you think. Um, so each Monday I will uh, post a new site um, with the first clue and then I'll give out clues throughout the rest of the week leading up to Sunday when I will reveal the site and give a very brief description of the site or some interesting or key facts about the site and uh, provide links for you to go and find out more uh, information uh, if you're interested in that site really. These are only supposed to be, you know, a little bit of fun. They're not supposed to be lengthy articles or analysis of the site. They're just supposed to give you a bit of information, a bit of fun in guesswork. Um, that is in theory the plan anyway. I enjoy doing it so I will continue to do it for as long as I enjoy it and hopefully you enjoy it too. So here is our first picture clue for this week and um, with a little bit of an extra clue. Uh, obviously, I was going to you know, say this site, but it's quite obvious that this is a castle. Uh, was constructed in the 13th century um, as part of sort of the uh, Norman expansion uh, into Wales, trying to control Wales, especially the areas and maintain control around Glamorgan. And this, this castle was built uh, by Gilbert de Clare, or um, as he's also known, uh, Gilbert the Red, uh, the Seventh Earl of Gloucester, or the Red Earl. Um, this castle is the largest castle in Wales, as well as being the second largest castle in the United Kingdom after Windsor Castle. That's another sip of coffee. This is Coffee Break Archaeology after all. So there are your clues for today. There will be more clues uh, released uh, throughout the week. Um, probably uh, on Wednesday, Friday, and then with a review on Sunday, but there may be more. And these clues will be given across the Coffee Break Archaeology uh, social media channels it might be on Twitter, might be on Instagram, might be on Facebook, or it might be here on the YouTube channel as well. So there is the picture. Uh, there you go. That's that's all you get to see for now. Obviously, you can pause the video and have a look at it for longer. Um, so yeah, I hope you're enjoying the series. Uh, well done if you managed to guess where we are in week one, and stay tuned for more clues for week two um if you enjoy uh hashtag where am i uh and you enjoy these little videos as well please think about uh subscribing to the channel liking the video hitting the notification bell so you know when maybe more clues are uploaded to youtube and also follow coffee break archaeology on the other social media as well thank you so much for watching and until next time take care bye